Hey everybody, it is the Zen 2580 here, and I am here because I have had so many requests from a lot of subscribers wanting to know what my top favorite blushes are, or my blush collection, and things to that effect. And I am so addicted to blush. I love it so much. And so I pulled out um, quite a few of my favorites. I still have a lot more, but this video would take forever. And I know that everybody wants me to get a, you know, a um, collection of my makeup up, and I'm going to be doing that. But they uh, requested first a lot of them for my favorite blushes. I also got a request for my favorite foundations, another one for my favorite bronzers, um, favorite eyeshadow palettes, and things like that. So I will be doing those videos. I'm just kind of getting to them one by one. But the, the number one was um, for my favorite blushes. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to start with my like cream blushes first. Um, so, um, I have two of the Hello Kitty by Sephora uh, cream blushes. One is in the color uh, Peachy, and the other one is in the color Cherry Blossom. And these are really great. I used to, like, hate cream blushes because I didn't think they would be easy to apply. Um, but I, these were my first ones that I ever bought, and I really love them. So this is Peachy right here. I'm going to do a swatch of it. There's peachy right there. That's the true color. And uh, these are um, somewhere between, eight, I think, 18 to 22. I don't know how much they are. I don't remember. Um, and the other one, of course, is called Cherry Blossom. It looks like this. So it's a much darker, like, true kind of Hello Kitty or Barbie pink. And I'll do a swatch of that. Here it is up here. So this is Cherry Blossom. There's peachy. See if I can get them. Okay, <laughs> those are the colors though. And then I have another one that I like, and it's by Wet n Wild. I, you know, I'm not. Um, I don't discriminate on brands. If it's something I like, then I I wear it. And this is the Wet n Wild Three of a Kind. So it's really for lips, eyes, and cheeks. But I use it for my cheeks, and it is in the color seven two seven, and. Um, it never really, it never really gave me a, 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 but it looks like this. Comes with a lid, some pretty peachy coral, and I'll do a swatch down here of it. This one's a really nice cream blush. This is the color right there. So those are the the three so far. They're darker than this. Um, there we go. There's kind of an idea. Okay, so I showed that one to you. And then I actually have this really, this is really cool. I got this in a swap from Miss Panay Beauty. And uh, she lives in the Philippines. And this is the Ever Bellina, or EB brand. Um, it's the Kiss Me Lip and Cheek Gel. Looks like this. And basically, this is so cool. And let me just, I brought a wet cloth so I can keep showing you the swatches. This is a gel, so you can use it on your lips or your cheeks. And I'm going to put a little bit on my hand. And it's um, very subtle. You know, it's not um, extremely dark or anything like that. You just got to rub it in. Sorry about my clock, you guys. That always happens. And this is the color. So it's just like a real pretty subtle pink. I really, really like this. It's very easy to apply. In fact, there's what it looks like on my finger. Um, and I really, really like that um, because it is a gel and it's very unique. So I like that one. Now I'm going to get on to some of my powder compact blushes. Um, I'm going to start with my um, Sebastian Truco right here. And this is the Cherry Pie uh, Rouge blush. And it's a quad. Look at that. So it's got two pinks, a white, and then a darker, like obviously darker cherry red. And I'll just do the swatches of these on my fingers because what you do is you just mix them all with your uh, brush. So here are the four colors, if you can see that. And then if I were to just mix them all with my fingers, this is the color you're gonna get. It's just kind of like, like a light pink. It's kind of hard to describe. Um, but it's just, it's really, really pretty and I like it. And um, so now I'm going to go on to another one that I like a lot. 
and it is my Rockin' Republic blush. This is a very large blush it's by Rockin' Republic. The color is called Shameless, and this is the Contrived Pressed Blush. And I'm going to go ahead and open it. It opens really cool. It like swivels up like that. And here is the color. And I know it looks like a bronzer, but it is not. It's just a gorgeous... Um, it's going to look like a bronzer, I know you guys, but it's not. Here's a swatch of it. So as you can see, it's very, very shimmery. It's like gold, like a deep, dark peach. And I put the swatch, of course, once you... Let me actually put some on my hand so you can see. Here's the color right here. And it's just so pretty. It really, really is. And this is a great color for uh, fall and winter. So I love that by Rockin' Republic. Um, I also have um, a MAC blush. And I've had this for so long, you guys, but I love it so much. I mean, look at this. <laughs> I have got to get another one of these if they still make this color. And the color of this is called Style, and it is a frost blush. So the lid has fallen off. As you can see, the pan is already going down into the pan. But the color is the color payoff is amazing on this. And I wear this, as you can tell, a lot. Um, let's see if I can get a swatch. It's just a really, really pretty peachy color. And here it is right here. Whoops, right there. Love this one by MAC. And then um, I also have, I have several MAC blushes here actually. Um, I'm going to show you my Bobbi Brown, the apricot um, that I've been using lately. And I even have a couple in here that are great dupes for this too. Um, so here's the color and it is called Apricot. And I'm gonna swatch this one. There's the color right there. Not trying to give you the finger. And let me go ahead and put it on my hand so you can see it. And it doesn't go on that dark, you guys, just so you know. Here's the color right here of um, Apricot. Yeah, right there, there's Apricot. But of course, I don't apply it um, that heavy. So that's from Bobbi Brown. One of my other favorite blushes um, are by Urban Decay. So I have two of these. Um, the first one is in Quickie, and the second one is in Score. So one's like a peachy, and one is a pink. So Quickie by Urban Decay looks like this. There's the true color, it's like a Barbie pink. And I'm going to swatch it on my fingers so you guys can see. There is the color. Let me get some on my hand so you can see it. It's really shimmery. It's just so pretty. Okay, so there's the color right there. And this is called Quickie. And the other one is called Score, and this one is more of a peachy color. I'll put this one um, on my other hand. So there is, let me see if I can get it. There is Score right there, just a really pretty peach right there. Then, and I'm sorry about my lighting, you guys. Oh, it's driving me crazy. I've been playing around with the settings on this, and I don't know why. Um, but anyways, okay. Next is another Ever Bellina. It's called the Blush Me Blusher. So it's got the, the brush on it. And I really like this one. This one is so pretty. And I also got this one from Miss Panay Beauty. So I'm just going to put it on my hand. And it is so gorgeous. Um... There's the color right here. Love that color. And this is by Everbelina, or you can also call it EB. Um, and she got it from the Philippines. And uh, so we wipe that off. Then, oh wow, there's so many blushes here. Here's the next one. This one is from Makeup Forever Professional Blush, Sculpting Blush and I have been using this a lot and I know the color could be a little bit scary looking because it is it looks like a bright orange 
like it looks a lot it's like that's the color right there and it's just so gorgeous it really is you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it and this is a matte blush by the way very very pretty and goes on so soft there's the color of course I don't apply it that heavy but you get an idea I just think it is so pretty um, especially if you have a dark tan because um, it really shows up on the darker the skin the better this looks actually um, and then I also have let's see another MAC blush right here and this one is in the color called copper tone and it's a matte blush so it's very like brown like a brown kind of color there it is right there on my finger and I'll try to get it on my hand so you can see it. There it is right there. That is copper tone. Sometimes I use it as a bronzer actually because it is very, very pretty. Um, next up, I'm going to show you is my Laura Geller blushes. And these are all baked blushes and Laura Geller comes out of Italy. Um, and her makeup, these um, are $29.50 a piece if you get them at Ulta. Um, so this one is called the um, Golden Apricot. Looks like this. It's got this beautiful marbleized effect to it. And I'm going to do a swatch as best as I can. Let's see here. There's the color. And let me try to get some on my hand so you can see. There's golden apricot right here on my hand. Very, very pretty. I have another one, uh, two more by Laura Geller that I really love. I love Laura, the first one that I got so much. I had to go get two more colors. And I know this is a long video, but this was a requested video. Okay, so the next, um, the next blush is called uh, In Honey Dipped right here by Laura Geller. And this one is also, you know, you could even use it like kind of as a bronzer because it looks very dark, but this is a blush. It's called the Blush and Brighten. So here is a swatch on my finger. Very, very light. And I will do one on my hand so you can see. It's just very, very subtle. There it is right there. So as you can see, it could almost be like a bronzer too because it's got real pretty shimmery browns and it's got golds in it. The third one by Laura Geller that I'm really liking also is the um, Apricot Berry. The other one's called Golden Apricot. This is Apricot Berry. So many people go nuts over this blush, and the way I found out about these was from YouTube, actually. I watched a lot of beauty gurus talking about this blush in particular, this color, Apricot Berry, and it is gorgeous, and it's just totally baked and marbleized. It's so pretty. You have to use a light hand with this one because it will go on very strong. This is the color right there, and let me put a swatch on my hand so you guys can see. And there it is. There's apricot berry. Wait, there we go. See, it can go on pretty dark, but it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Absolutely love that one. So those are the three by Laura Geller that I'm I love. And um, next up, I'm going to show you some Elf uh, blushes that I love. This one um, is in blushing rose right here. I really love this one because um, like I said I don't discriminate so here's blushing rose and um, here is what it looks like on my finger right there and I'll do a swatch very highly pigmented these elf studio blushes I've been very happy with them there it is right there that is blushing rose very gorgeous looks like a very expensive color um, and it goes on very very smooth 
And then I also have um, another one from the Studio line. This is actually the e.l.f. Um, Contouring Blush and Bronzer Powder. This is a perfect dupe of the uh, NARS Laguna Orgasm Palette. Here's what it looks like. And so I'm going to show you the blush. It's just a really, really pretty peachy, corally pink right there. And I will put it on my hand for you to see. And I'm even going to show you the, the bronzer next to it. So, I mean, I have the NARS Laguna. I'm almost completely out of it, though. So here's the blush up here. And then there's the bronzer next to it. Very, very pretty. And this is by e.l.f. Eyes, Lips, Face. I've got another, oh gosh, I've got several more blushes to show you guys. But you wanted to see, and so you will see. Okay, next one is by Saffron London, right here. And it's a really pretty pink. And it's got um, a lot of shimmer in it. It's like that. It's like a light pink. It, it, it's not white though. I'm going to do a swatch on my hand for you so you can see. It's also good as a highlight too. You could use it almost like an MSF. There it is right there. This pink here. Very, very pretty. So that is by Saffron London. Next up, and these are not even all my blushes, you guys. I have so many more. Next up is going to be, of course, my sleek blush. And this one is in rose gold number 926. A lot of people are going crazy over this. And I can completely see why, because I love it. Here's a swatch of the color right there, rose gold. And I'll put it on my hand so you can see. And here is rose gold, wait, let's see, right there. That is a gorgeous color. I love using this one. Then I've got one more blush by Sleek, and I have so many others that are on my, you know, my little wish list that I'm going to hopefully be getting very, very soon. The next one is called Flamingo number 937, and this is also just a it's so pretty because I wanted like a peachy gold and then I also wanted a pink and so here's the color very very bright here's a swatch on my finger and I will put it on my hand for you to see this is flamingo so it's you know you have to use a light hand with this one too because it will go on very strong if you don't flamingo is gorgeous and those are by sleek then, oh my goodness, okay, I've got another one, let's see, I got a couple by Too Faced that I really like, this is the um, Pretty in Pink right here by Too Faced, and I'm going to open it up, and it's like a duo, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's got like two different colors of pink in it, and I'm going to go ahead and swatch this, this one's got some shimmer, there's the color right there, and then let me apply it. This is a very pretty light, light pink, and also is a great highlight as well. There it is, right there. So that is pretty in pink, and then I have another one by Too Faced I'm going to show you. This one is called Lust to Love, and this is also like a duo style. You can see it's got like a plum, and then it's got like a peachy color in it, peachy pink and then a plum. So the plum side looks like that. There's the plum, and then here is the peachy side. So those are the two colors, and then when blended together, I will do a swatch. Together. and as you can see there's a lot of sheen and shimmer to this 
So those two are by two faced. Um, next up, we've got this one. This is um, Fanny Serrano um, F21 Cosmetics, and this is in Gold Peach. Looks like this. And here's the color. Just a really shimmery color. Very, very shimmery. <laughs> so here is what it looks like on my fingers, and I know it looks like I don't have anything on my fingers, but let me do a swatch. It's a very, very subtle, natural uh, colored blush. I hope my camera will pick this one up. I have it right here on my hand. There we go. There's the color right there. And so that's another one of my favorites and part of my blush collection. Another one that I like is the um, Boots number no. 7 right here. And the color of this one is called Coral Flush number no. 12. And this one, I don't know why they call it coral because it is pink right there. And I'll do a swatch of this one. And there it is right there. Very pretty. And I'm trying to wipe my all this blush off my fingertips and my hand. Okay, another one that I'm really liking is by Smashbox. The color of this is called Everlasting by Smashbox. So as you can see, I like really, really bright pinks. I like corals, and I also like browns and just like muted peaches. This is kind of a muted peach color. There's what it looks like. And I'll put some on my hand so you can see. Sometimes I just like a real natural looking blush. There's the color right there. Very, very pretty by Smashbox. It's called Everlasting. Then we have got, of course, I just got my second one. This is the Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Blush in the color Rose by Physicians Formula. And a lot of beauty gurus on YouTube have been raving about this, and that's why I bought it in the first place. It's so, so pretty. It's got all these different colored hearts, and it smells it smells like violets. It has a scent to it. It's just absolutely amazing. Okay, so here's the color on my hand, and I know it looks really, really dark. So let me put it on my... Because it doesn't really go on quite that dark. Um, but here's the swatch of it. It's just a gorgeous color. Oh my goodness. I love this one. So, so pretty. I highly recommend this. Highly. Because you can wear this with, you know, pretty much any color lipstick. Nude lipstick, red lipstick, hot pink, you know, anything. Um, then I've got a couple, a few by MAC. Um, this is the um, Darkly My Dear by the Ven Venomous Villains Collection. This one looks like this. It's like a plum. This is what it looks like on the finger. Maybe I should use a different finger that's not dyed red right now. There's the color right there. And I'm going to do a swatch. This is also like another like kind of just natural blush. Here's the color right there. And that one is called Darkly My Dear from MAC, from the Venomous Villains Collection. Uh, another one I like is from the uh, Perennial um, the perennial High Style from MAC, right here. And this one is called uh, Prim and Proper. It is a satin blush. Looks like this. And this one's really pretty. Here's the color. It's just a very natural looking color. Let me get the swatch of it. I'm actually going to put it over here on my hand so you can see. It's right here. So there's the color to that one. And this one is called Prim and Proper. Great for fall and winter, you know, um, when you're wearing darker, you know, like lipsticks and things like that. Um, I don't necessarily wear that color in the summer, but it's very pretty. 
Now the next one that I really like is also by MAC and this is from the Fashion Warrior line and this is called On A Mission and it is very pretty. It is like a plum color right there. That's the true color. And I'll put some of this on my hand so you can see. And this goes on so smooth. I mean, it is so smooth. I really love the way this one feels. There's the color right there. Very, very pretty. I know this video is taking forever, but this was requested. Okay, now another one is Moon River by MAC, and this is a mineralized uh, blush. And it's like a duo, because it's like veiny, and then it's got pink on one side, and then like vein, different veiny colors on the others. I'll do a swatch on my finger. This is also great for a highlight as well. I know it's hard to see. There it is, right there. And then let me put it on my hand. It's very, very pretty. I really actually use this one not just as a, a straight up blush, I use it more as an illuminator. And here is the color right there. So it's very light, light pink. And very shimmery, too. Um, I've got another one here. And this one um, I just recently got, actually. And when I saw it, I had to have it. I got it at um, the CCO. I, oh, actually, no, this one isn't brand new. This is the one called Love Rock. Um, Love Rock is very, very pretty. Looks like this. It's like a Barbie pink. And it's also like marbleized, um, too. Um, here's the color. Very, very pretty and very shimmery, I have to say. And I'm going to put it on my hand. This one goes on so gorgeous. This is such a gorgeous color. And now you know why I have four of them. I mean, look how shimmery. It's almost like a metallic. Let me see if I can do a little bit more so you can... Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have it on almost my whole hand. <laughs> and it's just like a metallic, just gorgeous pink. And this is called Love Rock by MAC. And, um, because I noticed some people are like, why do you buy so many of the same, you know, same thing? Well, if it's something I like, and I know it's going to be discontinued at some point, I like to stock up on them. And, um, you know, it's kind of like if you have your favorite lipstick and you hear it's going to be going out, um, and they're not going to be making it, of course, you're going to want to stock up on that. Okay, now I'm going to show you a couple of blush palettes, um, that I have. Um, this is the Coastal Scents 10 Blush Palette. And I actually got this, um, this was not on sale, but I had done like a huge uh, shopping haul. And this one has got 10 colors. Look at all of these colors, you guys. I mean, they're absolutely amazing. And I'm just gonna swatch these on my fingers. So I'm gonna go from the first one and then all the way over and then all the way over. So let me just go ahead and do that. So here are some of the colors. There's one on my thumb right there. There's a very, very soft pink. There's a very peachy, true peach color. There's a pink, and then there is a really bright coral um, that is this one right here. Now, on the other hand, I'm gonna do the bottom. So here are some, oops, my ring's falling out. So there's a pink, there's another peach, a very light pink, a darker pink, and then this is like a brown, and I actually think this is more like a contour. I mean, it's so, it's so dark brown, but yeah, it's on my thumb right there. And I really love this palette, I really do. And the main reason I bought this palette was for two of these, or I'm sorry, three of these blushes, and the three that I, love in this that I use the most are this one, this one, and this one. These two are really my faves, but if I want a natural look, I use this one. But they're all very pretty, but the main reason was for those three colors. And you can get that from CoastalSense.com. Um, and then next up, I got this in a swap, and it was already used 
but you know when you get used makeup in a swap you know you can always get like an alcohol an alcohol on a cotton ball and, and uh, disinfect but this is the six color contour in blush palette and I got this in a swap a long time ago um, with someone that used to be subscribed to me um, but when I got it, it has definitely been used and I had to clean it before I could use it and so basically um, <laughs> This is the six color contour and blush palette um, by Coastal Scents. And um, this one here is like solid white. <laughs> I guess it's just like a, like just a, maybe a high definition powder. I'm really not sure. This one is like a yellow. Um, I guess that's for color correction. Now I really do like this pink right here. Right here on my pinky. That one's pretty. And then this one below the pink, there it is on my pinky finger. This one. And then this is the contour. And the contour is really great. Very, very dark contour. And then this right here is just, I think this could be just like a, this highlighter, it's gotta be a highlighter. Yeah, it is. This is the highlight right there. So this is a really good palette to own. Um, and these pans are huge. I mean, they're, I mean, I don't know. I mean, if you can see that they would almost the size of the palm of my hand, but yeah. So these are just, uh, some of my blushes. And this was a, I mean, so many people kept requesting me to do this. And so I did it and I know it was a very long video, but some of my subscribers wanted to see it. And so I made this video especially for them. So, um, those were my blushes and, um, I have so many others. And when I do do my, uh, complete makeup collection video, you will see all of those in there. Um, but thank you for watching. And that was my blush collection. And then I'll slowly start doing other collection videos too of my favorites. So I love you all. See you in my next video. Take care. Bye.